Victoria's actually going to do this job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, supervise. Yes. It is to show people that even novices can do it, right? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh. see, you can do it. Just to prove that this sort of stuff can be done with limited tools and limited resources. Uh, one of the problems we had uh, on our way down is the car was wobbling quite a lot. Uh, we experienced the death wobble with Muddy, which we've done in previous videos. But we believe it's something different and uh, Rob has confirmed it. So he's going to show us how to replace the panard rod. And you've got an example here. Okay. This is a panard rod. Um, it attaches between the axle and, in effect, the chassis. And it stops the lateral movement of the axle. Okay. Um, what happens is that the bushes wear, you push either end, um, and you would normally replace the bushes. And the bush is this uh, inner part? Yes, the inner part. Okay. Bushes are relatively cheap. Um, there are also poly bushes on the market which um, are easier to fit uh, and give more comfort. It's debatable, they're very expensive. It's pure preference. The um, problem you have in a, in a home situation is that you have to be able to press the bushes out because these are pressed in with a um, hydraulic press and you have to press the new ones in. Um, that's kind of a bit difficult to do with the surroundings. If we were in the workshop it would be quite easy. Because um, you need a vice grip for that don't you? You need a, a, a hydraulic press. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, so that's kind of out the, the budget of most yeah. people. Um, what you can do is, if it's possible, take it to the local garage and get them to press them in for you. Um, um, assuming you have another car to get there. Assuming you have another <laughs> car to get there. Um, but these days, the cost of the, the bushes um, and the cost of replacing the whole rod is actually quite negligible. Right. So it's easier to buy the, an, a, a whole panel rod with the bushes already pressed in. So, uh, and then it's a case of unbolt the old one and bolt in the new one. Okay, which is what we've done. Which is what we've done. Cool. On this vehicle we've got um, some steering protection, um, uh, but the panhard rod is this linkage which goes basically bolted from the chassis down this uh, bracket. That also bolts to the steering box at this side and then you have a little bracket here with this end of the uh, panhard rod and then that follows the line of the axle all the way along okay so you've got this end here the bolt and as I say it it stops the movement of the axle in that direction okay, okay. so so you've got the radius arms which stop the rotation of the axle because the yeah. axle will try and rotate round itself okay. so that stops oh, right that here. that rotation yeah. and also stops the movement this way okay but the axle will because it's only you've only yeah. got the coils, yeah. Yeah. so it stops the, the lateral movement. Okay. And this is what you experience yeah. that that the bushes are worn and it does this, oh, and the axle right. is sh okay. shimmying all the time. So it's the same symptoms that we had with the uh, with the swivels, with the swivels. It's, but this There's time it's the whole axle that's moving. Okay. So and the death wobble is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Because it always seems to happen at a certain frequency, and then just goes. <laughs> you can actually see. The, a whole lot of rust round here, which is indicative of, of the wear and the fact that the, the bush itself is worn. So, because of the, in, the inside here you have a steel insert and then rubber and then a steel outer, mm -hmm. and this is starting to wear. And the, and the, the rubber wears, mm -hmm. and then you get water in between the rubber oh, and the right. metal part, oh. and then the whole of this inner starts to move around where the rubber is. Okay. And that gives you quite a bit of lateral movement. Okay. I mean if you if you look between there and there and there and there that's what three, mm. four mil. Yeah. And if you imagine that that can then move that, that translates to about mm. a centimetre by the time you've got both ends, mm. the whole axle is okay. doing that. It's not completely straight, as you can probably see. There is a little bit of a kink and that's where the differential is. Okay. So you have to mount it the correct way, correct way <laughs> round. And the tool meaning for this one? 22 millimeter spanner, 22 millimeter socket, and a pry bar. Pry bar, excellent. Yeah. Um, and yeah. hopefully that's it. You have a nut at one side, yeah. which is towards the back of the car. You've got a bolt at the front. Okay. Okay. 
if you put the spanner onto with the, the ring end onto yeah. the nut at the back. Okay. Okay. And you okay. put the socket yeah. on the bolt at the front. Um, I must be right or left. And you and you turn anti-clockwise to undo. Anti-clockwise to undo. So let's go the other way. So let's go this way. Right. And it's probably easier if you use the spanner to undo the nut. And it may require a little bit of force. Use the spanner to undo the nut. What yeah. here? And the spanner, because you're looking at it from the front, the spanner okay. will go clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. Yeah. So it's anti-clockwise to undo, clockwise to tighten. But when you look at it from the opposite direction. So it's like. <laughs> yeah. Right. They are stiff. Now you notice that we don't have the vehicle jacked up. Um, it's not necessary to jack the vehicle up. In fact, if you do jack the vehicle up, then you will get some movement in the axle. This is keeping the axle and the chassis basically straight and straight in line. So it's better to do it with all four wheels on the ground. So. Um, and obviously if you think about it, if you jacked up the, the, the axle, then you're causing movement in that axle as well. So you want everything completely straight, completely flat. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, as I say, I mean, it, in a workshop it would be ideal, but here we're doing it actually outside in the garden. You alright there, Victoria? <laughs> Getting there. Um, I keep on pushing this. The, the bolt sometimes does seize into the bush and if um, once you've got the nut undone at the back then you should try and move the bolt and if the whole bush starts to move then it's going to be a bit of a problem um, because you can't, if the, if the bolt is seized onto the bush then you won't be able to get the bolt out. What you'll have to do then is cut the bolt off both sides and extract the bush as well um, and then you have to replace the bolts. And again, the bolts aren't that expensive, and it's always handy to have a couple of bolts when you buy the pan hard rod at the same time. How do you get it out? <laughs> <laughs> you give it a tug. What you what you need to do yes. because now the axle's trying to move away from the pan hard rod. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you move your head out of the way a second yeah. with your little pry bar, what you can do down by the spring. Yeah. You can move. Okay. Now try and pull the bolt out. Ah, right. Okay, because now I'm okay. just moving that. Is it ever so small oh, amount of pressure? Right. Don't know if we can get the camera in to see. Yeah, you can see in there, right here. You can see the alignment, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh. So, there's the bolt out. Yeah, you don't have time to hold rods to the ball. One of our neighbours going up the road. <laughs> So now we've got the one on the other side. It's a little bit more tricky this one. Yeah. Okay. The axle won't move now because it's not attached to anything. We've got the fan hard rod is lost now. Okay. Crack the nut off to start with. Okay. Okay. Put my spanner on the other way around. What difference does it make? Okay, just as a little tip. It's not completely straight. I don't know if we can we're yeah. on at the right angle there. It's not completely straight. It bends one way or the other. Yeah. And sometimes it's easier if I put it on that yeah. way onto the nut, then yeah. it's pushing that okay. closer to the axle. If I turn it this yeah. way, it uh -huh. comes away from the axle, which gives me it's more room. It doesn't make any yeah. difference yeah. to yeah. undoing it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Don't stop. Come Hello. On, Bill, out of the way. <laughs> yes. 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 Hello. Yeah. Twenty degrees out here. It's lovely, isn't it? It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. fantastic, yeah. Donald. Lovely. Really yeah. is. What's that? Yeah. So. Yeah. Steering rod, is it? What's that? Uh, pan hard rod. So, stop the axle moving left to right. So, moving a little bit, was it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. Cool, cool. I'll leave you to it. Bye. All right. Bye. See you later. Okay, Victoria, you should be able to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a funny angle. You get the yeah. right between it. You really need the angle. Yay! You're off. That was it. Oh, you were uh, there. Yes. That's the one.
one. Set of these chaps. Bushes. Bushes. Yeah. Um, and they arrived the day after we left. <laughs> uh, what's the difference? Okay, if you look at this, you have this is a standard bush. We've got a steel outer. Yeah. And then the rubber, which is um, bonded to the steel outer. Yeah. And then the inner, which is also bonded to the rubber. Oh, right. Okay. okay. With the poly bush, you have um, no steel outer. You only have a polyurethane bush, uh -huh. and the inside mm -hmm. is just a tube that's pressed in. Oh, right. And that's it. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, this is more durable than this one? Or well, no, the, well, all right. The, the poly bushes are marketed because they are supposed to be more durable. Right. Okay. Um, than the standard bushes, okay. and they are easier to fit. Okay. However, um, they all wear. Okay. So it's and and this is um, several times the, the cost yes. of one of these. So you've got to replace a lot of these. Yeah. yeah. In comparison. Okay. Okay. So this one should effectively last longer. This one should effectively yeah. last longer, yeah. but I mean the vehicle is what twenty five years old now. Yeah. So yeah. Um, this will have been fitted sometime during its life, obviously. Yeah. Um, uh, and it's an expedition vehicle, mm -hmm. so it's had a hard mm -hmm. life. Yeah. Right, so now we just need to put it back in the, in the reverse order. <laughs> Come in from this side. Yeah. Well, here as well. <coughs> that way. This idea was to go in the mud. <laughs> there you are. See? Okay. We're in there. This is a axle check strap, uh, which the previous owner has fitted. Um, and basically it stops uh, excessive articulation on the axle um, because it was an expedition vehicle then presumably it was going in some very large holes sometimes and then uh, that, that well no it, 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 it stops the, the axle moving too far um, and putting strain on the brake pipes okay because the axle would hang off the brake pipe so, so that's what it's for okay we need to move that one down a bit. So what, with a, so. With a wrench or? Well, you can um, tap it with a um, hammer. It's easier. Oh, is too much? Oh, that's pretty spot on there, actually. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Will it tap in with the hammer? No. Oh no, it's all right, Sim. There you are. Oh. So we got it started in the hole there, yeah. and by turning this end yeah. up or down, then wiggle the bolt in, so it pushes out through the hole at the back. Okay. Yeah. So that was quite. It definitely helps having a cheeky pull. You got the nut on? Getting. Okay. You only do it loosely at the moment. Okay. We'll cool. put this side in. Okay. And then once we've got this side in, then we can tighten them both up. Okay. So this needs to be knocked up. Yeah. Okay. Right. You give it a tap going up with it. So it goes. Yep, that's it. Ah, yeah. So now we oh. need to use the wrench to manipulate the, the water. Pry bar to. Pry bar, so. Yeah. So if we get the camera in, you'll be able to see just here that you can see that in the hole it's not completely lined up at the moment. Yeah. So we need to move the chassis this way, okay, or the axle that way. What we can do is we put the pry bar in behind where the spring goes, you can move the whole of the vehicle. Or yeah, it's easy to move that down. down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Um, let's Have you got the uh, yeah. you've got the bolt? Yeah. I move it? Yeah, you, uh, put the, yeah. you put the bolt okay. in. Sure. <laughs> you may need to tap it up just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There we go. Anything? Excellent! Yay! And it was as simple as that. That wasn't too difficult. So it's not too difficult, no. <laughs> so, and as I say, yeah. you know, if you if you do it in a workshop or, yeah. you know, 
So that's easy because then you've got more space. Then you've got a lot well, more yeah. space. Yeah. But, but like I said, you know, we're doing it out, yeah. it's doable outside. Cool. You know. Okay, so we're going to take these up. Piece. <laughs> Tighten the nut, not the bolt. Oh, right. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier from this position. Yeah. I was going to say, you're yeah. approaching it. <laughs> <laughs> you can change places if you wish. <laughs> Your experience is showing through, anyway, <laughs> or lack thereof. <laughs> but it's working. Can you try lying down? <laughs> Leave, I guess. See the difference? <laughs> I know that's not tight enough. Just about there. Put the there on that one. That's it. We're done. Um, if I've done, it would take probably about five minutes, but because I did it, it's my lack of uh, tooling experience. It all, depend, yeah, it all depends on, on whether or not the nuts are seized. Yeah. Obviously, WD 40. Yeah. Depends on whether or not the bushes, the bolts are seized in the yeah. bushes, and then you have to cut them out and so forth. So it's it's about a 15-20 minute job. Yeah. Um, if, it, if it all goes yeah. well, yeah. If, um, it doesn't, it and if it doesn't, three hours it can take swearing. several hours. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's a big blue cloud. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> when you put the new bolts back in, by the way, then you should smear a little bit of grease on the inside of the bush. That stops the bolts seizing in the bush. Um, and uh, makes it easier to get out the next time that you do it. So we, we didn't have grease now, <laughs> um, so we didn't put grease on the bolts. Yeah. When we get back to France, can, can we just undo it? Take them off, yeah. put the grease in, yeah. put it back together again. Because yeah. yeah. it won't have seized by then. No, no, no. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs>